Hey guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. Today, we're going to Fort Lauderdale. Just one leg. How nice is that? From uh, Newark to Fort Lauderdale. We're scheduled to get there about 9.02, 9 something. Uh, it'll take forever to get a shuttle to the hotel. It's just, that's what happens in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, but uh, my plan is to take a very short nap like yesterday, mostly because I did not sleep well. Uh, last night um, and then maybe go to the beach uh, not in a bathing suit because I look like I do uh, but I did bring some shorts and some little slides uh, so I'll be more comfortable it's supposed to be like in the high 70s oh, nice all right so I will see you in Fort Lauderdale oops all right so we got you Fort Lauderdale it was uh, a miracle but the shuttle was waiting for us the moment we got to the airport so uh, it was just a dream and a half waiting an hour is not unusual here in Fort Lauderdale for a shuttle um, we were already contemplating how much an uber would cost to the hotel because we just didn't want to wait we're all very tired none of us really slept well, well last night uh, and this trip this leg today was not hard it was two hours and 48 minutes, which is a little bit long for Newark to Fort Lauderdale. Um, apparently, it's a very busy day at the airport in Fort Lauderdale, so air traffic control was kind of slowing people down. So it took a little bit longer than usual, I think. But it was an easy day. Every passenger was either asleep or they used their pleases and their thank yous. No one touched me. It was nice. Um, the chaser I worked with up in front was okay. We didn't really have the best immediate relationship, but that's the joy of having, you know, a chaser. You work with them for a very short amount of time. If it's a great fit, awesome. Yay. If it's not, eh, bye. <laughs> bye bye. Um, so today was a bye bye. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's a, it's about, um, it is about 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna take a super short nap um, just cause I'm a little tired from yesterday's adventures, but I do wanna go into Fort Lauderdale. Um, so I will do like an Uber pool or something to get down there. Uh, but I do wanna give you a room tour because um, this could be the holy grail of hotel rooms. It's not very big, but wait till you see it. It's got everything. Uh, and of course, I did not pack food with me on this trip because I was going to eat in New York and in Fort Lauderdale. I did not bring food. Now wait until you see this kitchen. Of course, I didn't bring food. Let's give you the room tour. All right, usually I start with the bathroom, but look at this kitchen. Full size kitchen, full size fridge. I've never seen a larger microwave. That is a gigantic microwave. It's like, it's, I don't know, three feet long. Full kitchen, dishwasher, the whole thing. Um, seating area, desk, uh, the TV here swivels around to face one of the two beds. Uh, you folks who lose your minds over two beds. Nice. And look at the bathroom. How it's, it's, it's twice as big as my kitchen, um, which isn't saying much, but it's got this big walk-in shower, toilet, of course mirror to show all of me right now uh the view isn't much but i even like these curtains wait 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 till you see them look how pretty these are these little shears super cute the view is not bad oh all right the pool not bad not bad pretty good for a hotel room i'm very happy i would i would live here all right, so I made it down to Fort Lauderdale Beach over by Sebastian. It's the typically the little gay area, and that's my those are my people over there. <laughs> but uh, boy, it's a beautiful day. Look cloudy, but it's in the high 70s. And I'm going to brave wearing a little tiny bathing suit right over there. All right, one of the best parts of being a flight attendant is I was in New York City all day yesterday, and today I get this. How lucky am I? Now, 
to go just lay down and listen to some music. Or just listen to that. Doesn't that sound nice? <sighs> okay. <laughs> that was a mistake. It's too cold. One of the few things I miss about Florida are the clouds. The desert has its own beauty, but even just simple white and blue can be magic. I think I'm going to stay here until sunset just to catch the different light. The beach is emptying out and I'm starving. So there's a Taco Bell cantina down there, but I have to find a bathroom. I'm hoping there's one in there somewhere. Hey guys, hi. Is this not gorgeous? Oh my god. <sighs> yesterday was fantastic. I, I mean, yesterday was just fantastic with the museum and chocolate and that French doctor, of course. And then today, just to hang out by the beach, listen to some tunes. I was listening to um, the best of Manhattan Transfer most of the time. Some Sarah Bareilles. Hanging out, listening to some music, uh, and just relaxing on the beach. Um, the sun is going to set uh, in a little bit, and I'm going to hang out for for that, uh, see what the sunset looks like. I love sunsets in Florida. There's nothing like them. Oh, but this breeze and the waves behind me, I am feeling incredibly grateful uh, for the opportunities that being a flood attendant offers. It's just insane. Just the difference between yesterday and today. And then tomorrow, you know, I'll be in Las Vegas, which in itself is kind of cool too, right? Of course, I'm just going to isolate my apartment with my cats, but it's still cool. Um, all right. Well, I will see you guys later. Maybe I'll show you what the sunset looks like uh, here in Fort Lauderdale. And then when you see me next, I'll probably be back in the um, hotel room. See you. Oh, guys, it's so beautiful here. It's just about sunset. The moon up there. Clouds. I hate to go back to my hotel room after this. Look at this cool piece of coral I found. Isn't that wild? Huh. There's a cruise ship leaving from port. I don't recognize the ship. It's a Royal Caribbean ship. I can tell by the water slide and all that craziness happening on the top back. But oh, I love a cruise. Oh, look at these little birds. Look at those little babies. Oh, so cute. Oh, look at them. Howdy. All right, so I'm back nearby the hotel. I wanted to stop off and grab a bite to eat. Uh, and I saw a TJ Maxx is here. One of my subscribers told me she found uh, a bag of tea that I really like at TJ Maxx by chance, or did she say Marshalls? I think she said Marshalls. But I'm gonna check it out, see if I can find a similar bag here, and then grab a bite to eat, because the two bean burritos I had about six hours ago did not last. But uh, then I'm gonna head back to the room, give myself a little sugar scrub, crawl in bed with some melatonin gummies, and then um, I'll be out cold until about four o'clock in the morning, so. I will see you tomorrow for the trip back to Las Vegas. Good morning, guys. Hi. So we're in Fort Lauderdale. We're going to be heading to Detroit on this 321 that we're flying on this morning. And uh, we have a two hour, 15 minute sit in Detroit. 45 minutes of that is really boring. So the sit isn't really that long. Just time enough to get some uh, tea because I was not able to make any in the hotel this morning. So I'm looking forward to a nice hot cup of tea. Some caffeine would do me well. This energy that I have right now is all an illusion <laughs> for the benefit of everyone around me. Um, the, the shuttle to the uh, airport this morning was fun only because we had 
uh, some uh, newbies who were going to their OEs. And uh, they were like, oh, Steven, you're famous in our training class. I'm like, that is, I really hope I'm the person that you see on my YouTube channel. Um, it was sort of funny. Um, but let's see, that's it. So we have got that sit in Detroit uh, for a bit. Then we uh, fly a 319 and we're heading to Vegas uh, and my cats. Very excited. Uh, and I have about three and a half, almost four days off. Uh, so that'd be even nicer just to spend some time at home relaxing with buddy Eleanor and Claire. I will see you next probably in, where did I say we're going? Detroit. See you there. Hey guys, hi. So we made it to Detroit. Uh, we're almost done with our sit. I think our plane is about to actually pull into the gate and start deplaning, but I needed something hot. So I'm getting a medicine ball here at Starbucks. <clears throat> My, uh, my regular tea that I drink is buried so deep in my tote bag that I would have to empty the entire thing out. So I'm just going to uh, splurge and get a medicine ball here. Warm me up because the airplane was very chilly sitting next to the door. Um, we're moving over to a 319, which will be nice. And I think that's it. The flight was super easy. Our chasers were great. Our guests were wonderful. We actually had a relatively new hire, someone who's been flying for five months. Oh, thank you. And uh, he was very, very sweet. He said some very kind things. He said um, that I was one of the reasons he applied to our airline. And um, he said uh, that I was changing lives and to keep on doing what I was doing, which I find uh, 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 kind of amusing. It was very sweet of him to say, but I'm, I'm thinking, I just talk about my cats a lot <laughs> and my layovers. I don't know about changing lives, but it was very sweet of him to say. Um, and we had two people who had just received uh, job offers with my airline at yesterday's hiring event. Very exciting. And uh, so I tried to give them a little tour of our emergency equipment, but the seatbelt sign kept coming on. So, um, But uh, it was a nice flight. A nice flight. I hope the next leg is just as easy because I would like to get home uh, and just uh, hang out with my cats. I'm going to drink my tea and uh, yeah, there you go. I will see you guys in Vegas. Bye. All right. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to Las Vegas. I just got home a few minutes ago. Um, took my uniform pieces off except for my work vest because it's a little chilly for a t-shirt. Uh, and I let Buddy out. Typically, I don't let him out this late in the day because it's hard to keep track of him at night. But he really wanted to go outside, so... And he was behaving well, so I let him out. Um, I'll do my best to keep track of him. There he is. There's Buddy and Diana right there. His girlfriend. Hey, guys. Well... This day, uh, nearly exhausted me. The first leg of the day was not bad. I think I told you, easy. The second leg, we had a, a very large group of golfers uh, on board and they were all big, burly, he-men types. Um, they didn't look like golfers to me, but uh, they drank, they drank me out of rum and Crown Royal. I, I literally ran out of rum and crown royal um ginger ale diet coke they drank diet coke and rum mm. big burly men um but uh they drank us out of stock um there were a number of people we had to pace we didn't really cut off anybody that i know of but we really kind of had to pace some people and set some expectations when someone would ask for another double um, I might say something like, you know what, we're going to be doing another service in about 20 minutes or a half hour. Is it okay if you wait for a little bit? And usually they say yes, because no one wants to sound desperate for a drink on an airplane. Um, but I think I sat down for a total of maybe five minutes. I ate half a bag of um, nuts uh, during a, like a four and a half hour flight. It was, um, yeah, it was very busy. And I'm very tired. Um, but uh, 
that's the end of this trip. It was a four day, but I made two vlogs because it would have been just really wickedly too long for anybody to watch. So I think that's really all about it for today. I'm, I'm going to hang out with Buddy. Um, I ate plenty uh, when I, before I left the airport. I had a chicken sandwich over at Shake Shack. So I'm done eating for today. Um, I'm going to hang out with Buddy and then crawl in bed. Uh, the minute he's ready to come back in my house, I'm gonna crawl in bed and pass out probably until tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow at one o'clock, oh, I'm sorry guys. Tomorrow at one o'clock, I'm volunteering at an organization called um, Clean the World. I was gonna do that last week, but I overslept, don't tell. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I might film a little bit if I can. If I can't film about it, I'll just tell you about it in a future video. Until then, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great night and fly safe. Bye.